Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Black Bear Outdoors in part two of our Marlin 336C video. If you missed the first part, I will put a link up here somewhere so uh, you can check that out and be up to date with what we've been doing so far. And in our first video, we had a 2014 manufactured rifle and we put it through his paces and we were pretty happy with it. And this one, uh, we'll be looking at two different things. Uh, we'll be taking a look at the Skinner sights we've installed in this rifle, um, as well as the fit and finish of this one. Since this one has been confirmed to be manufactured in August of 2019. So we'll take it into the table, take a closer look at the Skinner sights, and uh, also show you the, the fit and finish of this one so you can make your own comparison between this one and uh, the one in the previous video. Then we'll take it out to outside here and see uh, if, if those Skinner sites really work and if they can get us a bit of a bit quicker target acquisition. So uh, firstly, this, the guys from Skinner sites, I believe they're based out of Montana and their customer service is absolutely fantastic. I uh, sent them a couple of emails in regards to what I was looking for. Uh, they asked me to do a measurement or two for them and recommended uh, exactly what I needed for my rifle. They even sent me some uh, extra bluing because they probably know my gunsmithing skills, right? So the Skinner sights, uh, we'll take a closer look at that, uh, but they are a very simple design, a very elegant kind of design, and they function really, really well. We went for a peep sight on this one, and what that pretty much does is changes the buckhorn sights, as you see on the left of this little diagram, to a peep sight, which is shown on the right. It is easier on your eyes, it gives you a little bit uh, quicker target acquisition, and in my opinion, makes the sight picture a little bit easier on your eyes as well. And personally, I just shoot a peep sight better. Now, because of YouTube's regulations, I'm not allowed to show you how to install these, but it's incredibly simple uh, since these rifles are already tapped for um, scope amounts, uh, so you won't have any issues with that. And we also re replaced the front sight with the Skinner sight, which took a little bit of this. All right, let's take her into the table, take a closer look at the rifle and the Skinner sights, and then we'll bring her back out here and uh, see how well it works. All right, folks, so let's take a closer look at the Skinner sights themselves. As you can see, we went for the Alaskan, which means it covers the entire uh, receiver at the top. They do make a, a variety of different ones shorter ones and so forth as well, and a variety of different sites. When uh, we obviously went for the peep site, this is obviously the rear site, and we also um, replaced the front side blade with a Skinner one. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a tiny little Allen key at the back below the uh, peep site there, and that's for adjustment. So you loosen that up slightly, and then the entire uh, peep sight itself rotates to give you the correct elevation that you're looking for. You can see it's very well machined, it's beautifully made, and they're built to last. All right, so uh, next up is the uh, fit and finish. All right, folks, now we have the uh, 2019 manufactured Marlin on the table, and we'll show you a bit of a close up of the fit and finish, and uh, we'll do a bit of comparison between that and the 2014 one. And again, you can be the judge whether this will be acceptable to you or not. So let's take a look there. In my opinion, the fit and finish looks uh, way better than the 2014, but well, hopefully you can see that properly. And here's where you can see a big difference, especially there. See no real gaps or sharp ledges and so on. So there it is folks, personally I think the fit and finish looks great, um, well that's going to be up to you whether you think that's acceptable for you or not. So let's get down to the nitty gritty with these Skinner sights and let's go see if we can hit anything with it. True to old form, the weather has gone quite sideways on us uh, out here as it often does. Uh, you can see the snow is coming down, it's desperately cold, and we've got a bit of a swirling wind. So I figure uh, if I can hit our steel target about 100 yards downrange, uh, standing, that equates to a deer in the freezer, uh, as well as the Skinner sights doing their job. So the ammo we're going to be using today 
is just the bog standard Winchester uh, Super X. It's 150 grain power point. So uh, let's see how it goes. Kind of almost knee deep in the snow here. Not too bad. I think the Skinner sights are dead on target and good to go. So there you have it guys. We are very, very happy with the fit and finish on this rifle. Uh, the Skinner sights are absolutely fantastic. Really, I would recommend, highly, highly recommend them. Um, yeah, what more can you say for the price of this rifle, for the quality that you get? Uh, again, it's not a collector's item, but it's a very, very good utility rifle. Uh, I know a lot of people in the previous video's comments said that they do use scopes on these. Sure, they work great like that. Personally, uh, I'm kind of fond of the idea of uh, keeping this as iron sights, and the Skinner sights provided me with a great solution for that. So guys, if you enjoyed our video, uh, please hit that uh, subscribe button on the next screen. It looks like a black bear badge. Give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment and we'll see you next time.